coming up on TNN today, we take a look at the beatbox, the senior luau, the AP government test, textbook return, and boys golf. Stay tuned. Hello there, Tesoro, and welcome to our special episode of TNN. I'm Jim. I'm Keely. And I'm Brianna. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, the prom is June 1st, so get your tickets today either or either online or in the ASB store. It's crash or credit only. Have you ever learned how to beatbox? If so, listen to this video with Doug on just how to do it. Hey, my name's Douglas. I'm outside the ASB office reporting for TNA. And today I'm gonna teach everyone at Tesoro how to beatbox. So here are the fundamentals. We got the bass. We got the kick, we got the cymbals, and let me show you how to make a basic beat. So next time you're thinking of making music, try using your mouth, because it's a beautiful instrument. My name's Douglas, and I... I'm reporting, I'm outside the ASB office reporting for TNN. Thanks, Doug. Now I know how to beatbox and some of my Titan friends do. Um, the senior luau is Friday, May 1st, and Jesse caught up with me and Nate to find out some more information. I'm Jesse in front of the pool deck where the senior luau is gonna take place here with Nate and Jimmy, how, how long have you looked forward to this? Um, I'm looking forward to this about in a, in about a, a few days ago, so I'm gonna be looking forward to something like that. Well, if you're stoked, I'm stoked. I'm Jesse with Nate and Jimmy in front of the pool deck reporting for TNN. That looks like a lot of fun. Are you guys going to the Singer Rule out this year? Yup, I'm, I'm excited. Going. I'm going, TK Burgers is going. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, it's going to be so good. With my other announcement, the Tesoro Music Boosters are selling fresh Orchard Lace and Cuckoo Nut Lace for graduation. Email Tesoro Lace 2013 at yahoo.com by today to reserve your lace. And that's all I have for my portion of current events. Bring it on over to my, for my pal, Kyo with the rest of our current events. Thanks, Jim. Today is the last day of AP testing. Congrats to everyone who actually survived. Lobby caught up with the AP Gov kids to see how it went. Hello, I'm Aaron. Here in Mr. Birkencotter's room reporting for TNN. I'm just wondering how the AP government test went. I'm here with Matthew and Shahan, two of the smartest people I know, to get their reaction. What do you think? Um, with Mr. Birkencotter as a teacher, it was never in doubt. Destroyed it. So much conviction in their reply. <laughs> I'm here with Hubert and Jack, and their thoughts are a little bit different. It was the hardest test in the entire world. I think the fact that Hubert said that speaks for itself for me. So Mr. Birkenkotter, how do you think it went? You know, it, it's just one of those weird things. <laughs> <laughs> the reactions were diverse. I'm Aaron, here in Mr. Birkenkotter's room, reporting for TNN. Well, I think it went well, but I guess I'll find out in July. 
Seniors, our specially designed announcements are still available, so don't miss out. If you have already ordered these announcements, they're available for, available for pickup in room 905 at lunch or break. Rock for the Cure is tonight at 7.30 in the gym. There will be a ton of bands and it's for a great cause, so make sure you stop by. Textbook returns are coming up. Paige got some more info. Hi, I'm Paige here with Mrs. Morris in the library talking about textbook returns and library fines. So will you tell us when the due dates are due for all students, when they need to get their books in? May 28th and 29th through their English classes. And I heard if um, they don't get their fines in, they can't purchase a prom ticket. They're, uh, they're outstanding fines that are due. Yeah, outstanding fines. Oh, they've been on the books for uh, the year or for a while. What are some of the reasons a, ch um, a kid might need to pay a fine, like water damage? and Exactly. Water damage, if there's any writing in the book, uh, any kind of abuse to the book. Thank you for the update. So everyone get your books in soon. This has been Paige with Mrs. Morris in the library reporting for TNN. That is like, oh my gosh. I remember one time back in my Junior year when I took algebra class when before the end of the year, I remember to turn my algebra textbook in too. Yeah, I gotta turn my books in. Same or else there's huge fines. I don't want that. Neither do I. Okay, well that's all I have for my portion of current events. Now over to Brianna with sports. Thanks, Keeley. Girls softball played their second CIF game yesterday against Bonita High School, but unfortunately lost 5-8. Congrats to our seniors and Amanda Vargas, who was 4-4 four for four with a home run and three RBIs. Way to have an amazing season and making it to CIF. Congrats to sophomore Gordon Neal, who represented Tesoro with the field of 121 of the best players in our region. Sandy caught up with him to find out more on his awesome win. Hey Tesoro, I'm Sandy reporting for TNN here in room 400 with our very own Gordon Neal, who's a sophomore here, and I'm here talking to him about his huge accomplishment that happened recently. So you were in some huge tournament, right? And what happened? On Monday, uh, I played in the CIF Individual Regional Championships, and I shot a 500 par 67 to beat a field of 121 players by one stroke. Wow, congratulations, that's, that's crazy. Are you planning on playing golf in college? Yeah. The uh, ultimately, I'd like to go pro one day, but I think it's important to get, get a good education first and have a backup plan, so yeah, I'll probably go play golf in college. Wow, great answer. All right, Tesoro, um, make sure if you see him around campus that you give him a huge congratulations. That's a huge accomplishment. From Room 400, I'm Sandy, reporting for TNN. That's all we have. Oh, and off. Um, this guy's a pretty good um, golfer. I was like, he could pretty much hit pretty well, so... I feel pretty proud for him. Yeah, okay. it's a great accomplishment. I can't believe he's going pro. I That's know. Insane. He is good. That's all we have for sports. Now over to Jimbo with the rest. Um, thanks, Bree. That's all we have for you today on TNN, your one and only source for time news. Have a fabulous Friday, Tesoro. See you next time.